this is Essie the rich woman I'm making a part three to um, God before friends you know I wake up some days singing and today is a day that I woke up singing you know when you sing that means you're in a good mood you're you know you're happy and um, and I noticed that some of these days I wake up singing which is a good thing for me because there was many days I didn't wake up singing um, it's important not to let someone steal your joy you know um, and I think I'm letting somebody steal my joy I've been it's been days where I just been so depressed you know over my life when I look over my life there's been days where I just been very depressed very sad um, stressed out um, in lack you know because when you are hungry how can you be happy when you're hungry you know um, you know when your life shifts and now you don't have a place of your own but you're in your car you're out on the streets you're dealing with police every time you look around because they mad because you're riding around with this fire tax so they're coming and knocking on your window just to wake you up just to do spiteful things like that because somebody in the police department won't let them tow the car so um, so you have to deal with the police doing spiteful things then you have to deal with uh, discrimination because some people finding out that you're homeless and then they want to discriminate against you uh, no you can't come in here and use the restroom and looking at you like you're going to steal something and People thinking all horrible things about you. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. And though I'm still out here homeless, I wake up singing some days. Because I'm happy. And because Yahweh, I feel like it's because of Yahshua too that I wake up singing. I believe he is the main reason I wake up singing. And so, and I have someone in my life that is the friend I was telling you about that is arguing with me right after I wake up singing trying to start an argument about any any and everything I remember what the argument was about because she tried she brought it up just now just now she brought it up the argument was about her schedule her work schedule right I do uber every day so uh, when, when I'm working, I'm doing Uber. I don't do a whole lot of other things. I hardly ever do Instacart or DoorDash. I haven't did DoorDash in a while. And so, um, the main thing I do is Uber. So, she doing several different things. Ever since I did, ever since we became friends, she has... Let me see if I can count the jobs. One two three four five six seven I think seven maybe eight eight maybe eight so um um, and we've been friends for about a year and a half. So eight jobs. Okay, she's working. Let me see. One, two, three of them. She has three of the jobs right now. So she has did five jobs and let them go, or got, you know, or got let go. Either one. So um, 
it's it's hard to keep track of what she's doing. You so you would be on the phone and I said, Oh, what you doing today? Um, I'm working. Um, I got the massage job today, you know, and it's from whatever. I'm open to work from whatever to whatever. I said, Oh, okay. But she was like, Well, I only have a person for this hour or that hour, you know, or I'm doing my other job tonight. You know, so it's it's hard to keep track. It really is. And so, and I ain't trying to keep track. I really, I'm really not. You know, so if I talk to her in, in on a particular day, like I did today, I knew that she was doing um, a job between 8 a.m. and 12 noon. I remember that. But um, I thought that was it. But she said she told me she was going to do the other job today too, which I didn't remember. So, um, when I said, what you doing today? She said, working. I said, oh, I, I thought you already worked today from 8 to 12. And she, she wanted to, like, go back and forth with me. Um, I'm like, what? Instead of just saying, I'm working the other job. You know, from this time to that time. No, she wants to. That's why I was trying to give you my schedule. That's why I was trying to give you my schedule. No, she was trying to give me a schedule to the massage job, not this job. Like, are, do you honestly think that she's going to give me schedules? Three schedules. She's working three jobs now. Actually, four. Four jobs, really. Three jobs and a gig. Do you honestly think she's going to give me three or four different schedules? And I'm supposed to look, okay, this is, this is, um, today is Friday. Let, let me look at her. I, I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all that. So, that was the argument was about um, her sending me her schedule. And I said, I don't understand your schedule. I, I don't I don't have time to figure it out. I'm working. I got to do this. I got to do that. Well, you could have just said that you didn't have time. But um, you made it seem like you didn't want to look at my schedule. That you didn't, um, you didn't even look at it. I'm like, I'm like, I did look at it, but I can't figure it out. So, you know, I'm not trying to figure it out. And and so she went to go back and forth with me about, um, it's, it's easy. I said maybe easy to you, but, you know, she talked to me about one job. Then she sent me a schedule about another job. I'm like, I thought she was talking about the other job. I'm confused. She's doing too many different things at once. And so she wants me to look at her schedule. I, I like, I'm not her assistant that I should be looking at her schedule. You know, so if we talking and I ask you what you're doing, because ain't nothing else being said. So I'm trying to break up the, the silence. You know, she's doing this or doing that. And I'm just sitting here holding the phone. So I'm trying to break up. So what you doing? Working. Uh, if I gave you my schedule. I'm like, oh my God. So I think I'm just going to have to end this friendship. But I'm going to have to end it. Um. I got a, I got a, a way in mind to end the friendship, but it's not going to be, um, right away. It's going to have to wait until some changes happen in my life. And then I will be able to end the friendship by not letting her know about the changes that's going to happen in my life. And so, because right now she know where I park and so she could just come to where I park. So, um, yeah, this, this, I don't think this friendship is going to work because she, she likes to go back and forth. She likes to argue, and I don't like that. So, I'm going to be paying attention to the friendship, but um, I've been thinking about it. Um, I'm going to have, probably have to let go of this friendship because if I wake up singing, I want to keep singing. I don't want a friend to take the smile off my face or take the song out of my mouth with a stupid argument, with getting smart with me for absolutely no reason, it's, which is another thing she does. She gets smart just out of the blue, just get, you know, a little smart with me. Um, I could ask her a question like I was telling her about Cars Jr. Cars Jr. is us. Is they had pretty good hamburgers. I don't eat there all the time, 
But when I do eat there, you know, they have burgers are pretty good. Um, you should, you should try those cross your hamburgers. When have you ever known me to eat a hamburger? That's what she said. When have you ever known me to eat a hamburger? Instead of saying, I don't really eat hamburgers, I hardly ever eat hamburgers. When have you ever known me to eat a hamburger? Like, I'm not paying attention to you that hard. You know what I'm saying? And oh, when we're not together, I don't know what you're eating. Like, why, why get smart over something like that? If I'm telling you they got good hamburgers and this is your response back to me. You're getting smart over just a common um, conversation when you don't even have to. So this is what I put up with on a regular basis. The little snaps, you know, little stuff like that when there's no need for that. Just say, I don't eat hamburgers. I hardly ever eat hamburgers. Instead of saying, when have you ever known me to eat a hamburger? Like, I'm really stuttering her, studying her that well. No, I got my own life. You're not the focus of my life. She's not the focus of my life. And I think that she wants me to, wants to be the focus of my life. But she's not. It's not her. So, um, you know, so not only with the little arguments, also the little snaps at me. When I'm just having a regular, you know, conversation. Um, and sometimes she's, uh, hold on a minute. She answered the phone. Hold on a minute. And I'm holding, holding, holding. Because she's doing whatever. Just just say, I'll call you back. Um, don't have me holding on. Because if I was to do the same thing to her, answer the phone and tell her to hold on forever, she wouldn't like that. So she do things to me that she don't want me to do to her. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to cut off the friendship. But I'm going to be um, watching her and see if she get better. Because if she don't, and when the changes in my life happen, she's going to be another change to happen too. Because I, I want to wake up singing through the day. Like, I've been through too much in my life to let someone take the song out of me, if, you know. Uh, I, a lot of times I didn't wake up singing in the morning. <laughs> I didn't wake up singing. And so for me to get to the point where I'm waking up singing, I feel like I'm letting someone take the joy from me, you know? And so Satan, he has ways. He has ways to try to, to stress you out. Anything negative, stress, arguing, you know, stuff like that, that comes from Satan. And I know Satan will bring people in your life to stress you out, to worry you, to argue with you. He will bring those people. And um, they might not even know that they're doing Satan's will. But they are. And they're around like it's so much tox, tox, toxic um toxicity around them they don't know how to when they come around you to be calm and get rid of that toxic um, behavior they bring that around you and now they forcing that on you but yeah she um yeah I, I just want peace I want peace it's, it's hard you know having a friend it's always something with a friend it is it's always something Either they trying to change you. That's why a lot of times I cut people off because I'm not trying to change nobody. I don't want to change nobody. So I really cut cut you off and let you be who you want to be, you know, if I can't deal with who you are. just I just cut the person off. I'm not about to change anybody. I don't think you really can change anyone, really. So I just finished eating my KFC. And I am going to go to work. I want to start at 4. It's 3.22 right now. So if I um, go on and get out of here, I think I can start at 4. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
there. So I made some videos today. This is my fourth video. I guess this. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a part three. I might just say make this video. Um, um, don't let no one steal your joy. Yeah, cause that's how I feel. I feel like this video is more about not letting people steal your joy even your so-called friends and family you know like i'm older than, than she is i've been i live longer i've been through a lot more than she have and she hasn't so to allow her to steal my joy is not good i shouldn't allow her to do that I shouldn't allow anyone to do that Cause see, say no, say no when you got your guard up about a man. I got my guard up when it comes to a man. My guard is up with a man. So then he'll send you a friend. And you know, if you're a woman, he'll send you a female friend. And so she's doing the same toxic stuff that a man would do. It's just a friend, so-called friend, you know. So. Yeah, he has, Satan has some women in my life, you know, claiming to be friends, but they're really doing the will of Satan to try to stress me out. And you see, Satan wants to see you arguing. He wants to see you unhappy. And he will bring just the right people to, to change your mood from waking up singing in the morning to having arguments over stupid things. Alright, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Have a good day.